So you want to main Victor? Well, do you like robots? Do you like cyborgs? Do you like Mother Russia? Do you like intense burst? And do you like being a meta slave? Then Victor, the Machine Herald, is for you. Oh shit, okay, this, this is gonna... Fuck you, Caitlyn! That's the Berkey. Got it. Victor was a man. Was a man. A resident of Zaun, where science and magical experimentation pretty much goes unchecked and everything runs amok, he graduated one of Zaun's top tech schools and led the team that actually developed Blitzcrank. But soon a professor triumphed over Victor and stole his credit for the Blitzcrank development as well as reviving our lord and savior Urgot. After all his awards and appreciation were cast down, Victor devised a plan to alter his entire body with engineering parts to revolutionize his field of research. With this, he started a campaign he called the Glorious Evolution, being a self-obsessed idea to use robotics and hextech engineering to further and better humanity as a whole. By doing this, he removed all of the human aspects of Victor and just this mechanized, not abomination, but more so very specifically point-driven person became. He wants to revolutionize and glorify this new machine-man combination, and the old morality side of Victor is pretty much gone. And that is the story of the LCS craze, or world's craze, that is Victor. I will ping the exact width. Alright. What? Alright. Uh, Diana got buffed. Did she? <laughs> no. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I was trying to make you feel better. <laughs> it didn't work. In game, Victor is a guy. No, 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 no. Not a guy. A robot. I won't misgender Victor. Who you think you're gonna kill, and then turns around and insta deletes you with the power of Russian engineering and lasers. I mean, if we're being technical. <laughs> technical. He's an immobile AP mage with large amounts of dedicated AoE burst and control. If we aren't being technical, Victor is, after a few items, a fast moving, laser beam slowing, lightning storm generating, vodka consuming, mechanized wonder that will explode if sneezed on by Annie and will explode Annie by sneezing. You know, for all the cool things Victor has going for him, he does feel like a really uninteresting champion. This could be because he just doesn't have any crazy, ridiculous moves like all the new champions do, or it could be because he isn't a tree pedophile, or maybe because I've grown so tired of seeing him in every fucking Worlds game that whenever I see him now, I just think, leave my fragile health bar alone, you damn cyborg. So Victor's passive is who needs normal items. Victor starts the game with a hex core. It gives you 1 to 18 AP per level and then 10 to 180 mana per level. Upgrading it increases the AP and mana values and allows him to upgrade any of his basic abilities. Upgrading all abilities also upgrades your ultimate, and here's some hex math. Victor's passive for me is a double-edged sword. It helps him scale well into late game and also helps his mana costs. However, it does remove the possibility of any other items in the game. Like, it's a spot you can't use for components for items, or it could have like a really good item you want to buy, but you just can't because you only get a choice for like four actual AP items plus boots. Like, what if you need more utility over the pure AP it gives you? Well, you're kind of fucked. It's not bad, but I like options, and it's a bit restrictive. Victor's Q is Russian Frisbee. You can get the big one. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind, I'll get the big one. Wait, what? I thought I was- Oh, uh, okay, you can get the big one. I'll get the small one. I gotta get, I gotta get the- <laughs> The red buff took the big one. <laughs> Victor got buffed. It's a point and click projectile, it deals magic damage, and it shields Victor for percentage of his mana and AP. Your next auto attack deals bonus damage off AP. Your next bonus auto attack lasts for 3.5 seconds. When upgraded, it gains 30% movement speed on cast, and that lasts for 2.5 seconds. And here is some sonic speed math. Victor's Q is funny. It's amazing at trading and makes Thunderlord's proc super easy in lane, but the best part is once it's upgraded. Upgraded Frisbee basically is your new movement speed ability, and just having it's such a low cooldown that so long as you have an enemy to hit with it, you're flying across the map with this like low mobility mage. It also synergizes extremely well with Lich Bane. And let's be real, champions who can utilize Lich Bane, well, are pretty fucking terrifying. Victor's W is a mini Orion ultimate. Oh, false. Went the other way, man. I'm on my go. way, buddy. I guess. Damn. 
I didn't, I didn't want to be was, there. Wait, is that L star named Brad Pitt? No, it's Broad Pitt. Okay. That would have been, <laughs> been perfect, but... It places an AoE slope. You stand in it too long and you get stunned. When upgraded, you get pulled to the center, and I'm not going to explain this. Victor's W is good, but it's designed so weird. Like, when you're in it, and you, like, say you get in, you leave it, the slope persists for 0.25 seconds, and you get a stack for every half second you're in it, and at three stacks, you're, like, you're, as it calls, knocked down, and I'm just, I'm just done. Like, look, it's a great disengage tool and counter engage tool. People caught in it need to get out or get pulled and burst in. Catch a small group in there and laugh your ass off as the glory of Mother Russia fries their asses down to the nub. Victor's E is... Oh man, look at that menu wave. I want to, I want to do the, the death ray. It's going to be so glorious. It's a little less glorious now. Yes. I think they went back. Dude. Fuck, fuck you, dudes. It fires a line skill shot, has a designated range, and can be angled. It deals magic damage, when it's upgraded, it explodes again on its original path, deals smaller damage than the prior zap, and just zap, zap, zap. Victor's E is his main damage tool, and holy shit, it does damage. Besides the fact that it has a mana cost that's higher than his ultimate at max rank, it will just destroy people, and creep waves. One zap can instantly put fear in the enemy's eyes because it comes out so fast and does so much damage, and then they have to run away or else fear the aftershock. That, and you can pretty much instantly kill an entire minion wave at, like, level 7 or some shit. Finally, Victor's ultimate is Hurricane Russia. League of Legends crashed on me. Don't oh, worry. shit. It's an AoE instant cast magic ability. Stops all channels on cast and deals magic damage. Stays on the field and can be controlled. Pulses and does damage every two seconds. Lasts for six and a half seconds. Upgrading it increases the movement speed. And oh look, a zappy little cloud. Victor's ultimate is very, very spooky. Because like his E, it's this immediate instant like AoE damaging burst cast ability that also stays on the field. So you have to run away from it even more once it's down. The burst coming from this ability is really fast and terrifying that once Victor hits six, his killing power just explodes like no other. So skill max, I go E, Q, W. E because zapping people is a lot of fun it helps with your like wave clear and also it's great poke q because it's your other damaging spell and w because it's your utility spell but how do i play victor Victor is like Russian footsies. It's a cute idea at first, but then you realize it's literally freezing outside because you're in Siberia, and you haven't replaced your car's dashboard camera yet. Victor's abilities make you do this funny little song and dance whenever you play against him. His Q brings the impending doom of a more powerful auto attack, so you best run away. His W is an AoE slow and then a stun, so you best get out of its range. His E leaves behind a line that will explode once more if you don't move, and his ultimate will continue to zap 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 you down unless you try and dodge it. However, there is this one saving grace that if you get hit by all of these moves simultaneously, you won't have to dodge anything because someone removed all the color from your screen. You see, Victor probably has some of the highest AoE burst in the game. The prior AoE burst king was pre-reworked Zerath, just slamming down a ton of lightning blasts all over the place. Now since then, we've had a few other people with high AoE bursts, cough cough, hentai bitch, but not as instant as Victor is. Victor can delete you and your friends faster than you can actually react, because his E and R are instant cast. And if they don't kill you immediately, the follow-up from his Q, auto attack, the E aftershock, or his R will certainly do the trick. I mean, he is still Victor though. Go get 11 and 0 as a Rengar, we'll see who bursts who. But it's rare to see a mage like Victor that is so damn good at all stages of the game. Good poke and harass in lane, decent mid-game pressure, amazing late-game burst, and wave clear for days. He is a well-rounded mage, which is why he is in almost every world's game, which is why he's such a pain in my fucking ass. Oh, and one more thing, Rylai's Crystal Scepter. The Scepter of Infinite Slows. This item is fucking stupid. Now, we all know this though. Now, this is preseason, so obviously things are crazy, but this item on Victor, Jesus Christ. Bring Ghost into a fight so he's always catching up and you're slowed for life. Now, I don't know if Rylai's is going to get changed soon. I don't know if there's adjustments going to be made, but right now, this item on Victor is dumb and it makes him so broken. But anyway, let us discuss how to make big dick plays. Oh, that's a big ass mating class. See ya. Um, don't wanna be you. Got a knight's battle. Get a magic, stupid. 
Who writes this? Yeah! Oh, you know? No, oh. that was a lot. I. It was a lot cooler if I had landed Here I my come, Ricky. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm coming. She dead. Do you even need me, though? I don't know. Do you even need me, though? You see, she has no mana, but she's also like Caitlyn, so all she needs to do is auto attack. I'm, I'm fine. She just needs to auto I'm fine. She's not even auto attacking. Fuck this shit. What the fuck? In lane, you can harass with your lane opponent really easily thanks to your Q. It's just auto attack, Q, and empowered auto attack. It's a very simple way to proc Thunderlords easily. And hey, even if you can't get that empowered auto attack because they're running away from you, you have an instant cast laser. So you just go ahead and use that. I mean, the usual advice for an immobile AP mage is just be careful of junglers. And I'm sounding like a broken record, but it's the case. Just watch out. Mid game, it's about roams and pushing. You push hard as hell as Victor, so pressure on towers is extremely easy. It's all super easy just to go to an enemy camp and zap it all and boom, you're solid. You got a bunch of extra gold. Honestly, there isn't much to say about mid game. If you have ghost, you're rather strong, and once you finish Rylize, you can make picks easier. Late game, you will practically insta-burst any squishy in your way. A flash ult laser combo would kill any AD carry, and if it doesn't, your Q will seal the deal. Your burst is immense and crazy at this point, and it's a really scary thing, which is why you should be getting focused more often. Often. To deal with this, buy a Zonias, or drop your gravity field directly on top of you and defensively instead of offensively to stop enemies from jumping on you. Because, let's be honest, if there's an assassin on the enemy team, you're the first target. Okay, no, 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 Diver. Diver, dude. Diver, go! Ah! Nailed it. Woo! Dead! When it comes to Victor builds, I have no idea. This is preseason. Everything is different. Everything is changing. There could be values that are totally different by the time I'm done making this guide. I have no idea. Everything is fucked up and crazy. Cossacks and Rengar are broken at the same time. What's the deal with that? I prefer these runes and masteries personally, but for builds, we all know it can change constantly. If these items have not had significant changes, I go with a core of Sorcerer Boots, Rylai's, Lich Bay, and some form of utility or penetration if you need it. Past that, the world is your oyster. For Victor skins, we have Full Robo Victor, The Hair Doesn't Lie Victor, and Absolute Metal As Fuck Death Ray Hydro Kids Victor. For Victor counters, I go with Brand, Zed, and Syndra. Brand seems to do really well at outranging Victor, and his burst and damage is deceptively strong from that range. He kind of has that I'm barely out of your range and you can't do anything about it feel. Zed is a great counter because he does a ton of damage and can really fuck over Victor's day. Now this is more of a skill matchup, but if the Zed is smart, he can not only dodge most of his abilities, can also destroy Victor before he's caught in the gravity field and then instantly shadow his way out. And finally Syndra because she's very strong right now, god bless, and can do the outranging thing like Victor can, but burst time is probably a little bit faster than he is and stronger. But before I go, here are the usual Victor clips. Enjoy. Go oh, kill her buddy, she flashed. I actually did didn't it. know- I actually didn't know if she flashed or not, I just said that. Kha'Zix got buffed. Alright, Diana literally went back and bought a Negatron cloak. I'm so fucking angry. Oh, I'm coming. coming. Too. I'm, don't worry, buddy, I got you. Sonic. Nailed Found it. Out. Get a Bikita with your shit kill, to your kill skin. Kill the plants! Kill the healing plants! No! I want the kill! Mm, oh, I got the assist, yeah. it's okay. Oh, sh shit! Sure you don't want that healing plant? Paquito, pop the healing plant. I, I want it. it. Let, let yeah. me take. Let me take it, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, boy. Woo. Plants oh, got. I don't know what the buffed. fuck you guys were yelling. Yeah, plants you know. got buffed. Plants got buffed. So let's wrap up Victor. He zaps things. Okay, he's wrapped up. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching my So You Want to Main Victor, and oh god, shameless plug alert. Do not forget, I am sponsored by Loot Crate, and these themes this month are pretty goddamn great. The original one is Magical, being Doctor Strange, Big Trouble in Little China, Game of Thrones, and Fantastic Beasts. Then the gaming one is Mythic, which is Dragon Age, Assassin's Creed, Castlevania 2, and... Oh god, Okamiden? I think it's Okamiden. I'm terrible at this. And finally, the anime one is Blade, being Bleach, Jintama, Gintama, uh, Berserk, I know how much some of you love Berserk, and Sword Art Online Progressive. The themes this month are pretty goddamn great, and I think they're super awesome. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm a huge fan of their products and their people, and literally one of the best ways to support me, outside of being a huge MVP and watching my videos, is to go ahead and give Loot Crate a look and see if you like anything. Almost every month they have some new awesome idea, but this month's just looked really goddamn cool. So if you can use my URL, lootcrate.com slash bricky, it's in the description, and also use the promo 
promo code Bricky for 10% off anything and everything you buy. I will love you and possibly touch you in the butt. All right, plugging ending, video done with. My name is Bricky, and please don't fuck up my solo queue. I can say that again. Bye bye Ever, anyone that's gold is is crap utter crap I see you built azonias for that border Paquito <laughs> he <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, Bricky can't put that in a video, even though it's a good joke. I can probably put it in the video. <laughs> I, can, I, can just, I can just go ahead and put like a large picture of Ainsley Harriet over the cover instead.